Hello roofers and homeowners, do-it-yourselfers, roofing contractors and builders. One of the things that we see a lot of times is uh, some issues that, that with valley installations. Today we're actually going to show you some tips on valley installation. This particular valley is a closed-cut valley and it's our improved modified California cut valley. We're here in Colorado. We're a Colorado Springs roofer, Denver roofer and we get a lot of snow and ice and so we want to build these a little bit different than areas that might just have a dry climate because California many of the areas are dry and you can see right here this is our new and improved uh, Ca California cut valley for our purposes we'll temporarily call it a Colorado cut valley it is a closed cut valley you can see our bead of tar that we had installed in there for our vertical shingle that's our starter shingle that runs up the valley for slope B. We've already installed slope A and you saw that heavy bead of sealant over there and, and we're getting ready to finish this section in just a moment. You notice the gentleman in the green shirt or green safety shirt and notice the gentleman in the orange shirt. Here in a moment the gentleman in the orange shirt uh, in a moment right now he's tying in some shingles into the uh, slope B installing the slope B shingles on this California Cut Valley. In a moment, you, I'm going to show you where the gentleman in the orange shirt was installing the starter shingle, the first shingle that no, needs to go down for our vertical line up the valley, two inches offset from the center of the valley for the water to flow. Here you go. I want you to notice what he's doing different than in the first section of this video. I'm going to let you take a look for a moment and I'll tell you what's different on this and uh, this is not the better way to do it. This works. Here you go. You can see we popped a line here but on this side I wanted to illustrate to you that we don't have any plastic cement in the valley right now for this shingle, for this, uh, for our first shingle that goes down in the valley on slope B. Now what we're going to have to do here in just a moment is something that we don't like to do, but we're illustrating for your purpose. Now in the winter, it's okay to do this. The issue is that we're installing this in the summer and you're gonna see the problem in just a moment. But this shingle still needs to be sealed. So we have to, here in a moment, what's gonna to have to happen is that shingle's going to have to be lifted up and we're going to, we're going to put some plastic cement underneath of the shingle. But we don't like to do that, especially in the summer, we don't want to do that because when we begin to lift up the shingle that we just sat, sat in this valley just three minutes prior and it's 85 degrees outside in sunshine, that asphalt cement is already activated on the sealant strip on the back side of the shingle. And so it begins to pull on that and that's not, we don't like to do that. It's actually more work. So now you're going to see what you have to do if you don't put the plastic cement down first. You'll have to come back on the back side, lift it up after it's already been installed, and you're going to have to glue it down. Applying the cement first is best. 